Let's work through the practice problems for part one. In the first section, we're asked to write the values in scientific notation. This means that we want to express the value as a decimal number between 1 and 10, multiplied by 10 raised to a whole number power. The first example is 345,200 meters. Notice that in this number, the leftmost digit, the 3, is in the hundred thousands place. If we take the original number and move the decimal point five places to the left to get a number between 1 and 10, the result is 3.452. However, 3.452 does not have the same value as 345,200. Since we essentially divided the original number by 10 to the fifth, when we move the decimal point five places to the left, we have to multiply our result by 10 to the fifth to compensate. Our answer now represents the same value as the original number. Adding the units, meters, gives us 3.452 times 10 to the fifth meters. 10 to the fifth has the value of 100,000, and 3.452 times 100,000 equals 345,200, our original number. Notice that since the 345,200 is a large number, the exponent in its scientific notation is a positive number. The second example shows a number smaller than 1. Notice that in this number, the leftmost digit is in the hundredths place. If we move the decimal two places to the right to obtain a number between 1 and 10, we get 5.71. Again, 5.71 does not have the same value as 0 0.0571. Since we essentially multiplied the original number by 10 to the 2, when we move the decimal two places to the right, we have to now divide the result by 10 to the 2 to compensate. Dividing by 10 to the 2 is the same as multiplying by 10 to the minus 2. Our result is 5.71 times 10 to the minus 2. Notice that our original number is less than 1. The exponent in the scientific notation expression is a negative number. In the next section, we're asked to convert numbers written in scientific notation to ordinary decimal numbers. 8.9 times 10 to the minus 6 has a negative exponent, meaning it represents a value less than 1. 10 to the minus 6 has the value of 1 millionth, so our number needs to show the 8 in the 1 millionth place. We need to move the decimal 6 places to the left. In order to do this, however, we will need to add zeros to the beginning of the number. Our result is 0 0.0000089. Notice that the 8 is in the millionth place. 2.814 times 10 to the 9th has a positive exponent, indicating a large number. 10 to the 9th has the value of 1 billion, so our number needs to show the 2 in the billionth place. We need to move the decimal 9 places to the right. This time, we need to add zeros to the end of the number. Our final result is 2,814,000,000. Notice that the 2 is in the billions place. In the last section, we're asked to convert numbers written with exponents into standard scientific notation, where the argument is a decimal between 1 and 10. A useful strategy here is to take the given argument and write it in standard scientific notation, and then combine the resulting exponents. For example, 21.5 can be rewritten as 2.15 times 10 to the 1. But we still need to keep track of the 10 to the minus 3 as well. Combining the exponent terms gives us 2.15 times 10 to the 1 
times 10 to the minus 2. When we multiply powers of 10, we add the exponents. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Similarly, 0 0.0035 can be rewritten as 3.5 times 10 to the minus 3 multiplied by 10 to the 4th. Again, combining the exponents gives us 3.5 times 10 to the 1. Again, multiplying powers of 10, we add the exponents. Negative 3 plus 4 is 1.